bit of spring going on here on Monday uh, after the big rain on the weekend. It's uh, ridiculously muddy. This field is way overdue for spraying. The canola is just about uh, out of sight behind the wild oaks. I'm not making too bad of tracks most of the time. It's the odd spot is pretty greasy. I haven't actually seen water standing on the field, but the driveway has some water on it. I guess I will continue and try to finish up here. It's only a little 20 acre piece. It took me longer to dry it here than it should take to actually spray it. So I'd like to get her done and oh yeah this is serious grease here. I'm actually having to use the turning brakes. Too many more of those patches. Some places the wild oats are thick enough to hold the tractor up. Anyway, we will press on, hopefully finish and get out of here without getting stuck. This should be a good test to see how bad herbicide drifts and spraying right up against the edge of the uh, spring wheat field. So uh, I think we got a north northwest wind. It's not bad. I'm not seeing any drift, but if there is any, it'll be going towards the wheat. So I guess we'll see what happens here in a few days. No luck herbicide will certainly kill wheat. Had a contrast last week. It was too dry. Kind of spray, and uh, now we've gone to mud. But I'm complaining, we really needed the rain. A lot of weeds down here. Hope that herbicide works. I'm using Eclipse for the first time ever. It's supposed to be a, a pretty good herbicide for <laughs> I believe it has a little long trail in it, which is supposed to get the, uh, the broad leaves better than just straight round them. As we shall see. Well that's it for that tank. Or half tank. Finished up that field I started over west and I've uh, emptied out the tank here at home on 15. It really needed it. Got some pretty wet spots here too. Tires picking up lots of mud. Well, no major problems. The oats I seeded in this creek are actually looking pretty decent, aside from the dandelions. 